the man set to be India's new Prime Minister on the campaign trail. It's been an even longer journey from Narendra Modi's humble origins in the state of Gujarat. This is the street in the small town where he was born. The original house replaced now. But this is still known as Modi area because almost everyone here has the same family or caste name. His younger brother remembers their days together and the future Prime Minister's temper. Narendra Modi loved flying kites and I had to hold a spool of string. But if I refused, he would get angry and he would hit me. Then I did what I was told, but I think he still loves me. Were you scared of your brother, I ask? I'm still scared of him even today. So should India be scared of him? Anyone who's concerned for the well-being of the country has nothing to fear. Only those who work against the country need to be scared. This is the small railway station where the young Narendra Modi used to help his father selling cups of tea on the trains stopping here. During his election campaign, he made a point of saying he had no ties to his family today and had devoted himself instead to serving his country. So his brother expects little from him now. I wish he would help the next generation of our family, but I'm sure he won't. He won't even offer tea to someone without a reason, especially his family. It's just one more way in which Mr. Modi represents a big departure from tradition in India. For the first time, a man totally from the other side of the tracks will be leading the world's largest democracy. Some fear it's a gamble, but many say he's India's best hope. Andrew North, BBC News, Vadnagar in Gujarat.